Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Here's a quick guide on how to complete the Bunker E15 Lost Sector solo and flawless on Legendary Difficulty. Timestamps are in the description below. This Lost Sector can be found on Europa, spawned in the Eventine Ruins in the north. To the left of the spawn around the corner will be the entrance to the Bunker. Remember, if there isn't a flag outside of a sector, you will first need to complete it normally in order to unlock the higher difficulties. This sector contains barriers and overloads. The threat is void and there are a few void shields, but nothing major. During the recording of this video, the surge was solar and strand, so always double check what the surges are and match your subclass or weapons to the same element to deal extra damage. Moving on to loadouts. For this, I'm using my warlock strand for ad clear and shackle grenades for the champs. I'm combining it with swarmers to create threadlings. For weapons, I ran an arbalist for stunning barriers as well as a void bow for stunning overloads and for volatile rounds. Finally, I had a solar linear to make the most of the surge. Now onto mods starting with the class item. Run any of the mods that help reduce your ability cooldowns when using different abilities. You could also run the mods proximity ward and healthy finisher to get your health back along with an overshield when performing a finisher. For leg armor, you can run mods that help with your ability regen when picking up orbs of power. You could also run scavenger mods to pick up additional ammunition when picking up ammo bricks. On your chest armor, I suggest running a Void Resist, since incoming Void damage is increased by 25%. Also run a Concussive Dampener to help reduce incoming damage from Void Grenades and the boss's Explosive Void attack. For Gauntlets, yet again run any mods that boost your ability regen when picking up Orbs of Power. Finally, for the Helmet, I suggest you have a Heavy Ammo Finder mod on, along with some Ashes to Assets, to get your super back on grenade kills. This is what I use, so either copy it or use it as a template to make your own. You do not need the same weapons, armor, subclasses, or even mods as me to complete this lost sector. With that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Once you spawn in, make your way to the edge of a cave entrance. Just use this high ground to kill the Vandal Sniper to your right, along with the one on the bus to your left. Then clear out the dregs, so the Overlord Champion beneath you is on its own. Proceed forward to the next room and clear out the Vex, followed by releasing the Clovis Brace security robots. If you haven't done this Lost Sector before, these robots are trapped throughout the next area. Release them and you will have your own squad of immortal fighting machines. Use the boxes to deal with the goblins and the minotaur. Careful where you stand as the Vex will drop pools of Vex liquid on the ground that will damage you. In the next area, just stay at the back and snipe at all the goblins. You can then push forward to the doorway on the other side and again snipe at the adds up on top of the ramp. As soon as you see another wave is spawning, turn around and jump up onto the top of this wall. Use this corner to get rid of that Cyclops first as quickly as you can as it will one-shot you. Careful to your left as there will be a sniper above you but once you get rid of it, you can use this high ground to dispose of the remaining adds. Once the ads have been cleared, focus on the barrier champion. As you can see, shackle grenades make short work of them. Don't forget to release the prisoners to turn your squad into a platoon of machines. You are now in the boss room. All you want to do is stay inside this tunnel entrance and snipe at the ads. There is a walkway surrounding the room and it can be accessed using a ramp to the left and the right of the entrance. When the goblins lose their heads, they run at the enemy, which means that by staying in the entrance, the ads will come to you, since they are trying to make their way up onto the walkway where the robots will be. Honestly, you could go AFK and let the robots literally kill everything for you apart from the overloads. When the boss spawns in, just peek around the corner to your left and damage it every so often, whilst clearing out the lesser ads. Once the boss loses a bar of health, an overload will spawn in. Try to lure it towards the tunnel. Remember, if you suspend the overload after it recovers from a stun, it will eventually begin regenerating health whilst it is suspended. So always make sure to get ready to stun it again. Then simply damage the boss until it is almost dead. If you kill the boss quickly, then there won't be any more champs. However, if you don't, then a final overload will spawn with its last bit of health. Yet again, lure it to the tunnel and dispose of it for platinum. If you need to, you can rotate all the way down the tunnel to the walkways for cover if the overload proves to be a problem. And there you have it, that is how you complete the Bunker E15 Lost Sector solo and flawlessly on Legendary Difficulty. If you have found the video to be helpful, then please like, share and post a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny 2 guides. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.